Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. Reports of the death of the series have been greatly overstated. We are gonna random Eve. Welcome back! <laughs> now I remember why I stopped playing. No, actually, I, I didn't stop playing. I took a brief break from The Binding of Isaac. Uh, much to the chagrin of several commentators, or several commenters, I should say, who continue to spam my wall with, What happened, man? The only reason we're here is for the Isaac. You take that away and we're gone. Well... You know, I can't promise that this series is going to be around, you know, ad infinitum. Like, I'm going to be a 70-year-old man here playing The Binding of Isaac. It could happen. I mean, I didn't think I would be here 290 episodes in, but it's a game I still enjoy. But have mercy, please. It's been kind of a busy couple of months in the uh, gaming industry. Even more like a busy couple of weeks. Borderlands came out. FTL came out. It's addictive as hell. Torchlight 2. I've been playing a lot of Natural Selection 2. You know, still trying to make some progress in Spelunky at some point. The series are gonna ebb and flow a little bit, baby. Don't worry about it. Sometimes there's gonna be a lot of Isaac. Sometimes there's gonna be a little bit less. If you're one of those, you know, I, I bet more people watching this have Platinum God than have seen all the episodes in the first place. Let's take this pill quickly. I'll take it. It's not great, but I'll take it. I'll take $3 bill as well. Uh, but yeah, I bet more people watching this have Platinum God, which is something like 0.7% of Isaac players have that, according to Steam Achievements. Uh, then I've seen all the episodes, so if you're wondering why is there no new Isaac, go check out some old Isaac, rage along with me, uh, as I, I struggle with the game. It's all good stuff, but for now, I'm gonna be doing some pretty lengthy Isaac recording sessions today, most likely. Getting back into the swing of things. I like taking a little break from Isaac, well that was bad, pretty bad there. Uh, I like taking a little break from Isaac and then getting back into it, that is unfortunate as well. What about our tarot card? Hermit takes us to the shop. Well, we'll save that for the next floor. We don't have any keys, sadly, so it might end up being incredibly important to keep that. Um, yes. Uh, so then, it, like, I take a couple of weeks off of Isaac, and then I get really bad, and then I, it takes me a little while, and then I start to get good again. So I'm, I'm enjoying, like, the, again, the ebb and flow. Apparently that is gonna be the name of this e episode, ebb and flow. More like hustle and flow, because it's hard out here for a pimp. It doesn't really make any sense. Trying to make myself seem a little bit more badass than I am. So we need a key as desperately as possible. Um, we do have the $3 bill. We got a tears upgrade for our first boss fight, which is not great, to be honest with you. I would love to blow smoke up your ass and tell you that that was exactly what we wanted, but let's be honest, it was not a flying item and it was not Mom's knife, so it's difficult for me to feel honest about that, you know? It would feel like a, like a dishonest campaign ad or something. Like if I picked up a you know, squeezy or something, and it was like, Northern Lion approves this item. That would only be 50% true. Only items I approve. Sacred Tears, Brimstone, Flying, of any sort. Mom's Knife. Um... Oh, there's other good stuff as well. Stigmata, anything with more than one bonus. We need to find a key. If we have to go to the arcade and spend a shit ton of money to get a key, I'm gonna be pissed about it, but, you know, we have to do what we have to do. We have the, uh, the, the, Bloody Knuckles, I forget what it is actually called, Tough Love. We have Tough Love right now, so we're shooting a tooth out now and then. There we go, there's a heart we can't use. Well, so far the game has not been very kind to us with respect to items that we might need in order to, you know, make progress, pick up other items, and then succeed in the game. Not to mention, really, all three hoppers got immolated here. Okay, the spider's dead at least. These guys aren't- Oh god, now they're coming for me. Just one! Be dead! <laughs> this is why, as Eve, desperately need one of those super high damage items that I've mentioned already, like, two times in this episode. <clears throat> Tarot card gives us a key. It gives us the lovers. What this means could be great, could be terrible. Well, it can't be terrible, because it's giving us health either way. But, we will, uh... Come in through this curse room here. What do we get? Telepills to deal with the devil room? I don't know how I feel about that. Um, we'll just exit. At least I didn't have to pay any more hearts to get out of there. But that was not really ideal. When I saw the teleport, I was excited, but... Oh my god, just give me a key. <clears throat> On the bright side, we might be able to get a trinket here. And an early trinket is something that uh, has not happened to us all that often. Joker card. It's gonna teleport us to the deal with the devil room. Awesome. Um, we got hearts again. Not really that useful, but I can use those to play the blood bank. We do oh, we do have the lover's card here too. Okay, so first, high priestess. Don't want it. 
What we're gonna do, we'll play this three times. Oh, I forgot about the permanent curse state. We only played it twice there, which is weird. I guess I already lost half a heart somehow. We can probably at the very least get back to 15 cents this way. Because we do have this lover's card to take as well. So let's take the lover's card over here. There's 15... Oh, that's not 15 cents. What am I thinking? A health upgrade also, you know, would be awesome. If you could find it in your heart to give that to me. There we go. And now we'll just be at reasonably full health. <clears throat> I apologize. I don't know what has gotten into my throat here. Uh, but with 16 cents... Now, there is a uh, hermit card up here. So the hermit, if we now teleport, will take us to the shop. Where there will be no keys, because of course that would make things far too easy. But I did buy the 9 volt. We don't even have a spacebar item to use with it yet. However, uh, who knows. Maybe this will end up becoming the most important item in history. But, without our ability, we want... Let's fight the boss right away. Um, without the ability to actually access these item rooms and, you know, any other room that might require a key. Well, that's a start, actually. Does this allow us to get anything? There was a Tinted Rock down here. Tinted Rocks occasionally contain keys. Let's see. If nothing else, at least we can get some Spirit Hearts out of it. Well, we got one Spirit Heart. Uh, I'll take that. I was thinking about doing some uh, mojo to get us in the permanent curse state, but that's not essential right now. Seriously, this is a, a shitty start to our run. We're playing as Eve. $3 bill is not a game-changing item. Uh, and no keys, one bomb. So land. High Priestess will kill you instantly. That's cool. Uh, we'll get a health upgrade as well as HP upgrade. Now, what we could do here, I'm thinking we now take Guppy's Paw and put ourselves in the permanent curse state because now we have enough spirit hearts to at least survive on it for a little while. And now we at least do a little bit of damage. It's still not good, because we, we, we're lacking a lot of things here, but the fact that we're in the permanent curse state at least gives us a fucking chance. Because, my god, the run has been not good to us so far. I should not be playing, by the way, the uh, slot machine there. The fortune... Whoa! I think I might love uh, this man right there. Um, but yes, I shouldn't have been playing the uh, fortune teller there, because there was no chance for that to give us a good item. Or a key, I should say. It could have given us a good item, but no key. We'll take the magnet. It's fine. It's not great. But it is something. You know, we're going to re-enter this room because we have the Ouija board effect right now. Now we can actually shoot some poop. Now we do have 9 volt in combination with Guppy's Paw. So, you know, if possible, I would like to get rid of Guppy's Paw in the future. I have There's no magic associated with Guppy's Paw now that I already have 7 spirit hearts. Like, I can live without it. I would love a, a nail. That would be even better. And you know, we do have this Joker card that I could use, uh, possibly, to finance a deal with the devil. Or at least get us to the deal with the devil. We'd have to use our own spirit hearts to finance it. But, it would probably be worth it, I think. But now we're gonna focus on, uh, stacking damage upgrades. Spirit hearts are okay for now, uh, but we really want to get some damage upgrades up. And if we can do that, I think we have a chance. But, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of gaps in this run so far. There's the gap of, uh, you know, my limited health that I can't replenish. There's the gap of, even though I'm in the permanent curse state, I'm still not doing all that much damage. Extra spirit hearts, always worthwhile now. Extra key, and now that we have the magnet, that is a gimme. What do we have in our shop here? Ten extra bombs, that's actually really useful. Finally, the, the bare necessities we're able to get. You know what, let's check out our deal with the devil room quickly. Can I buy Brimstone? Yes, I can. Oh my god. I have no health. That happens a lot. I might be invincible forever, though. Or I might die in one hit. Let's try to uh, amass some Spirit Arts. I still don't really understand why that happens. But sometimes it does happen. And that sucks. Please give me a Spirit Heart as soon as possible. Or even better, a regular heart, which would be like three spirit hearts right now. Well, that is teleport, which we don't really want. Is it better than Guppy's Paw right now? Possibly. Uh, but Guppy's Paw, I think, has the potential to at least give us a chance for success moving forwards. And I'm feeling a little bit worried about that, considering I do only have, you know, no health right now. 
But if you want to look on the bright side, I'm not missing any health right now. You know? Like, I'm at 100% health and 0% health simultaneously. Uh, it's not as comforting as you might think. Also, my brimstone is not doing as much damage as I would like. But hey, here's some extra bombs. I'm not taking any damage, which is surprising. I'm just gonna play it cool here. Take out the enemies before they can take me out. We are, of course, gonna go for the poop. Just gonna give us enough money to maybe allow us to buy something awesome from the shop. Well, we have coin purse, bomb, key, and tarot card. Uh, I... I, I don't know. I'm very confused about what's going on right now. There we go, we took damage. I guess we died. I hate that the... When you get a deal with the devil with red hearts, it completely screws you over. Back to main menu, start, random. Blue baby! Alright, it's gonna be one of those runs. You know what? Fuck it. I'm getting back into Isaac. First run in a few days, start, random. Magdalene, that's better. How long has it been since I called her Magdalene? But seriously! I, I, I'll admit, I should not have picked up Brimstone. I should have learned my lesson several episodes ago uh, about how the deal with the devil reacts when you only have spirit hearts and it gives you, uh, oh, quarter. Uh, and it gives you the chance to uh, give your spirit hearts for red hearts. Like, I understand. I've had that happen before, but sometimes, I don't know, I just forget and it feels like it should work. It feels like it should just co cost the equivalent amount of, uh, of red hearts. I guess I'm advocating a loss of personal responsibility to a certain extent because I'm, I'm thinking like they should either change the prices to spirit hearts or just not have the deals with the devil there in the first place. People are going to get tricked, you know? And I guess it's up to people to inform themselves and make good choices, however... Well, I don't really have a however for that. I don't have a rebuttal. In any case, though, pretty bad first run here. Uh, first two runs, technically, if you count that 35 second blue baby run that I quit out of. It's okay, we're just gonna take down Pin here. The way we want Pin to die, uh, or at least do damage to itself, or at least take damage is what I should say, is by doing damage to itself by hitting itself with those green bombs. Can't always get what you want, but it does do like, you know, 30% of Pin's total health per shot. What do we need as Maggie? Same thing we need as every character, unfortunately. We need damage upgrades. Some way to get more health, in all, in all likelihood anyway. More heart containers, I should say. And, you know, flying items, defensive items like Halo of Flies, Blue Candle, stuff like that. Anything along those lines might be uh, worthwhile for us. We get Squeezy right off the bat. Tears upgrade. Doesn't hurt too much. And the uh, extra spirit hearts are okay as well. And we'll head down to the next floor again. Common problem. No bombs. No keys. I think I had a no keys cell phone back in 10th grade. Seriously, just blow up this white nub. Kill the Meat Boy wannabes. It's been a while since I've been, you know, doing Isaac commentary. I forgot all the idiosyncrasies. I want that key, I can't get it, sadly, because I have no bombs. Isn't that the, the plight of, uh, you know, modern day man? Needs bombs, doesn't have any keys to get them. Needs keys, doesn't have any bombs to get them, man. The rich just keep getting richer. So we're gonna bust open this poop here, see what we get. Single penny. Then the man gives you just enough money to feel like you can do whatever you want, but actually, you can only spend it at government opened and located shops, and they only sell you the tools of your own demise, man. Uh, well, we have a bomb here. Well, sorry, we have a tinted rock that I need a bomb to blow up. Sadly, I can't access that just yet. We uh, also have an eternal heart, but I don't want to get that until we have already finished everything else on this floor so that there's no risk for me losing it, because then it is basically a free health upgrade. Which is awesome. Even as Maggie, health upgrades don't hurt. We can trade those into deals with the devil. If we so choose. Or we can just have like 50 hearts. Now if we come across an arcade or something. That's the problem with Maggie. Is that it's pretty much impossible to uh, go to these boss trap rooms. Unless you're having a terrible run. Which is probably the way that the boss trap rooms were intended to work. It would be like a, a balancer if you were doing poorly. You could take this high risk room that would also... You know, increase your chances of success a little bit, based on whatever item they had inside them. Uh, but instead, it's just become a, a, another tool for people like me to exploit and be like, Yeah, we got 20 hearts, but we got this full health pill, let's go to the shop, play the blood bank. There we go, finally a key, uh, and then eventually go to the boss trap room. Sorry, I had to get back in my, um... I don't even know what you would refer to that voice as, but, uh... Back in my grizzled Binding of Isaac veteran voice. You know, it's a shame, 
uh, in about 80 years, we're probably going to lose all of our Binding of Isaac veterans, and all of these memories will be will be lost. Keep thinking we have the Magnet. We do not, sadly. We do have homing shots. I can't tell if that's awesome or terrible. But homing shots plus tears upgrade, which is what we've gotten so far as Maggie, at least allows us... I don't know. Our shots will count, maybe, is a good way to put it. Sadly, won't be able to go to the shop despite having this much money. I can probably afford to pick up the Eternal Heart to save myself a little backtracking. And hopefully we get to deal with the Devil here, because I am not feeling too strong about this run so far. Let us come up and into the boss room. We're gonna be fighting Duke of Flies, so pin Duke of Flies. It's pretty much like the easiest first couple of bosses you could hope for, unless, you know, maybe there was a Larry Jr. thrown in there. A Skolex, even though that's impossible. I don't know if Skolex just seems easy because the bosses around him are so hard, or Skolex actually is incredibly easy. Like, what if you put Skolex, you moved him from the womb part one into, um... Oh, I don't want to be here. Uh, you moved him from the womb part one into, like, uh, the basement part one. Would, it, would he be difficult? Does he have a ton of health? I don't know. I haven't done the... I haven't made up my Excel spreadsheet with the HP of all the Binding of Isaac bosses. Get out of there. This Duke of Flies is kind of a pain in the ass, though. If I had some bombs, I might consider giving one up uh, just to do a little extra damage to him because his nice little uh, Halo of Flies is protecting him quite well. But... He's about to go down. We're going to hope for, uh, you know, either health upgrade or damage upgrade followed by deal with the devil. Although I did take damage on this fight, so deal with the devil might be an impossibility. But there's our health upgrade. We'll get a second health upgrade just for heading down to the next floor. And everything is coming up Millhouse, sort of. So we got Curse of the Lost, or Curse of Darkness, sorry. Curse of the Lost is what gives us a slightly larger floor. Curse of Darkness is what gives us a floor whose size we cannot know. Which actually kind of makes it seem even larger. And the Empress, that is going to be good for us when we find our boss. Hopefully we get a key here, because otherwise I'm probably going to forget where the boss room is. Or sorry, where the item room is on my way to finding a key to enter said item room. There's our shop. Again, sadly no keys. Tons of money, because I did get that quarter on the first floor. But no keys, of course. What would you want keys for? I almost feel like there's cycles in the Binding of Isaac. Like, you almost have like a Binding of Isaac meteorologist. You like turn on the news and you're like, oh, I wonder how Isaac's gonna be tomorrow. Chances of dickishness, 80%. No keys available, sorry. The key drought enters its 36th week. Aw, oh, come on, man. I just want, I wanna have a chance here. Okay, so we do have keys, finally. One key, at least. We'll use this to go to the item room, as I always do. I understand this is one of the Northern Lion rules that people find comical. One key, doesn't matter how much money you go to the item room. Well, now I feel silly because we got Remote Detonator, which is actually pretty bad, but it does give us five extra bombs. And, now if we find one more key, we will go to the shop. I get the logic behind going to the shop. It, you're more likely to find a key in the shop and then spend that money on the key and then use that key to go to the item room. However, sometimes you get screwed, sometimes you go into the shop and there's greed and you're like, oh, well, I haven't really gotten a whole lot of anything in return for this, have I? Except, you know, maybe eight cents and minus two hearts. Uh, we have a golden chest in here, which is going to remain inaccessible unless this becomes truly the greatest floor of all time. Now, people have been on my case. Hey, Northern Lion, check out more of the curse rooms. Uh, those are the rooms. Oh. Which uh, have the spikes on the outside, so you get hurt as you walk in. I'm trying to defend myself on the Binding of Isaac subreddit. That was a lucky secret room to find. I was like, I go to them now and then, and they're like, no, you really don't. So I might actually go back to that curse room over there, and even if it costs me a spirit heart... Well, I guess put, put up or shut up here. It's gonna cost me a spirit heart. Let's do it, see what we get. Alright, Guppy's Tail. That's actually not so bad. Uh, however... You know, we don't have any keys with which to make good use of it, so... Suck on that. Hopefully, well, we've got enough money here. We're gonna get another seven cents. We're gonna fight our boss with the Empress, then I'll probably back out and get the Emperor card. Again, deal with the devil, uh, would love right now. Really, just put me over the moon, pretty much. Sadly, I would be surprised if it happened. So we'll get, just feed Chubb a nice little bomb there. Probably feed him another one. I realize this is bad use of bombs. But I really wanna, um... Oh, it's not good. Uh, I really want to get a deal with the devil so we can get some extra damage permanently. I mean, it feels like we're doing good damage right now. That's only because I have the Empress on. 
And that'll do it. We get a Spirit Heart as a result of our troubles. And another Tears and HP upgrade. Also, I have heard people say that this is a damage upgrade. Have we explored that entire floor? I think we have. I should get the Emperor card, but I'm just too lazy to walk back and find it. Please, more keys! We're already on the fourth floor. I, I'm actually, I guess I'm lucky to have been able to open up all of the treasure rooms, but still... Having all this money, but never being able to go to a shop is really, really annoying. I don't think I've ever used our Yum Heart, either. So things I would welcome, uh, better spacebar item, certainly. You know what? Last curse room was good to us. Let's check out this one. It's probably gonna be double spiders. Well, there's a good start. One troll bomb. And two bombs! Alright. Well, the curse room, you know, it can't always pay out. I remember in Isaac, uh, what was it? Isaac 101, episode 1. Scumbag Michael A.L. Fox walks into the curse room. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's the mark. <laughs> Just walks in. Gets, like, a great deal with a devil item, or at least a deal with a devil item that's not horrible. Uh, on his first attempt. Dude has no idea the amount of luck that exists uh, in his Binding of Isaac game. It's because I don't think he has any mom kills. But, uh, still. Always a little bit aggravating when you watch, like, someone whose Isaac game is, uh, not set to, like, the increased difficulty. Because remember, I mean, if we go back to, like, October, November 2011, the Isaac game starts easy. But the more mom kills you get, the, the harder it becomes. I can't kill any of these guys fast enough. So mine is cranked up to max difficulty. Probably if you've been playing the game for any length of time. I think it maxes out at like 10 mom kills or something. Uh, then yours is probably maxed out too. However, it's it's always a, a weird when you like look at somebody's post on the Binding of Isaac subreddit. And you're like, check out this item I got in the curse room. And I'm like, oh yeah, you... No offense, but... Probably... Do not have many mom kills. What do we have here? We have uh, speed and range. I'll take that. The speed doesn't hurt. The range is fine. Uh, it's not a good item. But we do have enough keys to go to the shop for once. Which means inevitably we're gonna run into greed. Because the game's just acting like that today. There's sometimes when you can tell Binding of Isaac's on your side. This is not one of those times. Yeah, for example. I, okay, I don't mean to sound to, to gloat or anything, because this is bad for us as well. But seriously, I told you so. There's probably like a 1 in 2 chance, maybe a 1 in 3 chance of greed showing up. Because again, someone has mentioned, oh my, I'm getting killed here. Uh, that it is proportional, like the chance of greed showing up is proportional to the amount of money that you have. So that makes sense, given that I have 55 cents. You get it? It makes sense. More like makes dollars. Oh, thanks for the Steam sale. I'll be sure to use that never, because I'm probably never going to get enough keys to go back to the shop. And we only have two more floors with shops on them anyway. Awesome. So we're back to full health. I did manage to use Yum Heart for the first time. Oh, happy day. Let's see if we find our secret room. Inside of our secret room, more money that I will never be able to spend. Is it so much to ask just to get a fetus in a jar or an epic fetus from one of those? should probably put out this, um... That was an incredible dodge there. It was subtle, but it, it, it got the job done. Um, the heck was I gonna say? Uh, da, 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 da. I totally forgot. Anyway, oh yes, an epic fetus, fetus in a jar. I realized you had epic fetus fairly recently. That was what actually allowed me to do my best chest run ever. Seriously, I never thought the day would come. 22 minute chest run. And r before that, I'd set like a 27 minute chest run a little bit earlier that week. It was the golden days, man. I know, Coach just put me in back in 83, we to one state, I know it. Do we have our boss room coming up anytime soon? I would welcome it, we're 25 minutes into the video and I'm on the caves part 2. Should say something about how poor, pardon me, this run has gone so far. We do have a boss room, boss trap room I should say. I would love to go to that, but sadly there's no way for us to find our way in there. Unless I took uh, an ass ton of damage right now. And more golden chests, thank you Guppy's Tail. Always well warranted. We're gonna play the shit out of the slot machine actually. You know what? Hey, pretty fly. I'll play this till I get down to 50 cents, and I'm assuming we'll be able to pick up some keys. The 50 cents thing isn't, and like, it doesn't have any particular mathematical significance. It's just because I don't want to sit here and waste my time uh, for 45 minutes playing this thing. Maybe we'll play to 40 cents. I could use yeah, everything basically. Bombs, keys, the money's not really useful. Keys especially, bombs, mostly keys though. Keys would be good. Um, 
So far, it's not really paying out too superbly. If this could be a bombs or key pill, that'd be great. Balls of steel, that's good too. I wish I had waited on it a little bit, but that's alright. It's not a big deal. Anything? Another pretty fly? I, you know, accept that as well. You know how sometimes when you, like, open a chest, it'll have, like, dimes and nickels in it? I think sometimes when you play the slot machine, it should take... Oh, it should take dimes and nickels, like, you just spaced out because you've just been in this, like, gambling coma for 18 hours or something, and then you accidentally put a nickel or a dime into the slot machine by accident, you're like, no! But then it pays out, and it pays you, like, a new car. Or, you know, you just lose your family fortune. Your life savings. We have two more plays here before I'm going to blow up this slot machine and hopefully get a key out of it. But let's be honest, the game's not really been on our side so far. Well, you got one more play in you, don't you? There we go. We picked up three spirit hearts out of that, which is not horrible. There's a key. We're going to save that for the next floor, obviously, although I am tempted to open up some of those golden chests. And we're going to fight Gertie as well. So Gertie's pretty easy. I've had problems with her in the past, but we're going to, you know, drop a bomb, maybe two bombs. Just to uh, let ourselves get through this fight a little bit faster, because we are doing basically no damage or negligible damage uh, in our own right here, which is pretty disappointing considering we're on the fourth floor. Maybe we can get really goddamn lucky and get a deal with the devil here. I know that sounds crazy. What's that? Northern Lion asking for a deal with the devil like he does on every single floor in every single Binding of Isaac run ever, especially when he's playing as Maggie uh, or Eve or Blue Baby. Or Isaac, or Judas, or Cain? I know. I totally forgot about Samson. I never random Samson. It's like he's not even in the... Like the random... Oh my god, I took damage. Don't let that spoil my deal with the devil chances. Okay, just keep it up. Dude, we got a lot of shit on the right side of the screen. And we took more damage. That probably sacrifices our deal with the devil chances. Awesome. I didn't want it anyway. I was just blowing smoke up your ass. Well, there we go, another HP upgrade. Which means it's going to be even more slow for me to lose all my health and eventually die here. I think we've got a double floor because of the way the game is, you know, characteristically frozen when I hit the spacebar to try to skip past the vignette. I'm just trying to keep myself well hydrated, you know. I've been playing a lot of FTL. If you record three FTL vid videos in one day, and I mean this is going to sound crazy because when this video is uploaded, my FTL runs are probably like 20 to 30 minutes in length. If you're recording a lot of FTL videos in one day, your throat can get a little bit parched. I'm starting to feel like uh, it's getting a little bit worn. Here's our, it's the pink glitch, which is stupid. Um, it froze again. There we go. That was the, like, the longest glitch of that kind that I think I've ever had. Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, put it in perspective here. Again, I would never suggest that what I do is a difficult job. But, what I will suggest is that, you know, sometimes the throat can get a little bit, uh, a little bit sore. You gotta make sure you keep it hydrated. So I apologize if the sounds uh, of me drinking water gross you out. Or, if you didn't even notice that I was drinking water during those vignettes until just now, and now you're never gonna be able to not hear it. If so, I feel your pain. Hey, there's a ladder for us. That was pretty cheap. Uh, but yes, it's important, you know? Gotta, gotta take care of it. This is my instrument, like Celine Dion. Famous Canadian, uh... Well, you know who Celine Dion is. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that was real bad. Uh, I was really hoping we'd get a key or two out of that, because then I could, you know, go to this item room here. Or the other item room on this floor. Oh, but we do have this lover's card now. Beautiful thing, isn't it? Love. And how it's torn me apart because I don't have any keys now. Please just give me some keys. If I could run like a PBS style donation right now, I don't need a lot of keys to keep this train running. I need two, maybe three if I want to go to the shop on this floor. Have it in your hearts, please. Donate copper for gold. Copper for gold seems like the worst. Cash for gold makes sense. Copper for gold feels like, you know, donate your old gold. I'll give you copper. No thanks. What are we going to do with copper? If Waterworld comes true, well I guess dirt is the currency in Waterworld. If we end up in a post-apocalyptic society, man, people aren't going to accept copper as currency as much as readily as they will with gold. That's probably true. I don't know anything about that. I'm friends with a guy who, during the recession in 2008, keep in mind we were in university slash college in the recession in 2008, 
Dude was like, world economy's coming down, man. We gotta, like, get back to our roots. So he bought, like, $1,500 worth of silver. And then the economy, at least somewhat, has improved. And now he's just got, like, $1,500 worth of silver in his house. Like, in a safe. And I'm not sure how much the safe cost him, but it was probably, you know, a pretty penny as well. I was really hoping that would be the shop. I guess what I'm trying to say here is, yes, you know, maybe that silver was a good investment. It's probably making, making him money. At least to a certain extent, but, you know, what are you going to do with silver? You can't take your girlfriend to the movies and, uh, you know, share a malt with her on a couple of bars of silver. Well, you probably could. I don't know. Do restaurants accept silver? Like, if you just walked in with, like, a big, like, sculpture of a silver elephant or something, like you were Mark Antony and you just looted some people, uh, and just, like, carved off an ear or something for some of them, do you think they would take it? I'd probably take it. And also, I'd be like, holy shit, Mark Antony. How's it going, man? You've been dead for, like, 2,000 years. Anyway, uh, that was a, a bizarre tangent, even for me. I kind of knew I was going to take damage there. If we don't get to go to any item rooms on this floor, I'm going to be a very sad panda. Please. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. This guy was coming up behind me, flanking me, going through the vents, natural selection, two style. Oh, my God. I've taken, like, three hits on this room alone because these guys are... Well, no, not, it's not their fault, it's my fault for not dodging very well, but still, oh my god. Guppy's tail, you're a cruel mistress, what is going on here? Get the, get that body off of your neck. You attach a head, this guy's head needs to be on your body. Out of context, that sounds pretty wrong. We got the hanged man, not really that useful for us, considering we do have, um, the lover's card as well, and it did just pop our yum heart. Might as well make sure we're at full health. Cause it's not like I've been, uh, you know, hurting for Yumheart uses so far. Hurting for Yumheart uses, the new full-length album from Northern Lions band. What was what was my band? I forget. I remember I remember my hit signal hit single that I came up with in the Binding of Isaac video. It was like, I pay my workers. Bad affluence was that it? My friends and I were brainstorming great names for. Like, rich white rappers and bad affluence just came up. Like, you know, you're a bad influence? Well, I'm bad affluence. I think that would be cool. Uh, but, you know, that's neither here nor there, the Northern Lion story, because we still have zero keys, and I'm just making idle conversation to distract myself from the fact that we're all gonna die someday. No, to distract myself from the fact that this run is gonna end, uh, and I'm gonna have nothing to show for it if we don't get some goddamn keys. Judgment, I appreciate that, I really do. Could you have just paid out with a couple keys before you uh, gave me the compass? Although I do, I have to admit, I appreciate the compass. We just really do not have the damage necessary. Bob's Rotten Head is better than Yamart. Things I wished I would never find myself saying on the depths part one slash part two. But we're going to use Bob's Rotten Head here. I'm not happy about it. We'll probably try to save it for one of our bosses. How, well, maybe we'll use it right now, because I want to see how fast it recharges. Alright, well, that worked reasonably well, I would say. Uh, recharges once every three rooms, and now I wish I had saved it for uh, Zambi Town here. Yeah, yeah, good bomb. How about this one? Ah, even better. Well, at least I just keep walking into the fire. I can sort of pretend that my bombs did something there. We only have one left. This is a serious issue. Uh, we get one more sense here. We do have an arcade. That is going to be like our last hope. Because we need to get three keys there. Two for the item room, one for the uh, shop. Again, this would be a great room to have some uh, bombs on. Or to have Bob's Rotten Head. Sadly. No such luck because I, I used it in the name of curiosity. What can I say? NASA inspired me. No, oh, that's not good. Why couldn't I get Poison Touch? Instead of uh, speed and range with the way that I'm getting hit here. Oh my god. Please just put me out of my misery or give me at least a flicker of hope. I'm not asking for you to win the game for me. I'm just asking for you to, you know, give a man a dream. Give a man a dream. The new C hot R&B ballad from Bad Affluence. Uh, yes, we are going to get this pill. I think it's Balls of Steel. It's Balls of Steel. So look at that, um, we'll make our way down and around here, where I hope, I'm gonna save Bob's Rotten Head, but I hope we get 
anything that can be used to pry open a door. Uh, ninja rocks, uh, a bump key, skeleton key made out of soap. I would, like, take anything at this point. Again, just don't get hit here. Just gotta plan your moves accordingly, and it should be easy enough to, to take these guys out within a couple of cycles. There's two, this should be three. I think this is the guy I've hit before, yes, and four here. And we kill, can't get to that? Well, we can get to it, but we can't open it, so who cares, really? Take out these human popcorns. I like this level, or this layout, because they all get, like, locked in. Well, except for this guy, who's now making a run for it. You know, tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak somewhere in this town. I always thought, you know, that's pretty silly. Did you think, you know, perhaps you might want to check the jail for that jailbreak? I don't understand why there's ambiguity here in, in where the jailbreak is gonna be. It's like tonight, McDonald's is gonna have one dollar drinks, but I don't know where. Well, go on Google Maps, look up where McDonald's is. Mayor McCheese, there's been a jailbreak. Where? Mayor McCheese. Why did we ever elect a hamburger to legislative office? What am I fucking talking about? Please give me a key so I can comment on the game instead of making up this weird Thin Lizzy and McDonald's inspired scenario. Where Mayor McCheese is dealing with a prison riot. Things I never thought- Oh my god. Finally. <laughs> Things I never thought I would catch myself saying. Uh, thanks a lot, YouTube, for, uh, you know, pulling at the last remaining loose threads of my sanity. Yeah, keep this up. Oh my god, the damage! It's too much! Two leapers! And all, you know, these four turrets shooting at me as well and not helping out. Please, Leaper. Yeah, there's a little bit more damage, but hey, we're gonna get back to full health thanks to this Lover's card. Just ignore the fact that I lost like 10 Spirit Hearts in there. No biggie. 37 minutes, we're almost into the womb. Uh, you know, assuming I could actually defeat Mom, which I think I can. Please, this guy, this is an easy enough room, I'm fine with that. Let's go back. Well, actually, I don't want to go back and just like... Hit up item rooms quickly yet? Because we might as well see if we can get a second key first. Or a third key. Or, God forbid, a fourth key so I can open some of these golden chests. I know, I, I'm, I'm asking for too much here, but please. Well, you know what? Thanks for the health. We're gonna swing our way over here and hopefully get to the arcade. And, well, I could open that golden chest, but now we're just playing with fire, aren't we? Well, we're gonna use Bob's Rotten Head there. Reason being, there was a uh, Tinted Rock, and now we pick up two bombs as a result. So that was a good trade. Bob's Rotten Head for two bombs, I think, is fine. Uh, drop a key on this room. Yeah! I did not expect that. So, we'll finally go back here, open up these two item rooms. There's the potential for these to be game-changing. What do we need? We need, uh, more damage desperately. That is the most important thing. We can probably survive on this amount of health for a long time. We need more damage, there's no way around it. Or a skeleton key so I can open up, like, the six golden chests that exist on this level. That would be okay, too. Step one is odd mushroom, I'll take it. Extra damage. That's a start. Uh, an all stats upgrade, that actually gave us health as well. All stats upgrade would be cool. Money bags. Pretty much could not be less useful right now. If I could go back in time and, and trade that key for one of these golden chests, I would absolutely do so. Um, but we're gonna make our way up and into the arcade area where I'm gonna spend a lot of money trying to get a key and then use that key to open up the shop. Maybe the shop will have something that will absolutely change our lives here, I doubt it, but it's possible. And if we get a ton of keys, we can now use them to open up some of these golden chests and there's always the possibility in the back of my mind that we can create like the greatest chain reaction that chariot. You know what, let's use that rake here. Could have saved it for a boss, but this room is irritating. Um, yeah, there's always, we can start a chain reaction, get like two keys in that first chest, and then the next chest has a key in it, and we just like, oh, okay, this is how life is supposed to be. Pleasant, the challenges that are given are proportional to the skills that you've, uh, attained and earned. Demonstrated in the past, you know? Instead of this not unfair bullshit. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for the golden chest. Oh, there's a key! We have Flat Penny! Finally! <laughs> I can't believe I didn't comment on that, but I honestly didn't even really notice until just now. So we got, uh, like seven of these douchebags. Yeah, that's not good. That's also pretty bad. 
I don't even know if we were gonna make it past the depths here. This is embarrassing, but also we just had like shit luck in terms of items and especially in terms of this key situation. Like my god. So we'll go to our shop. If there's a key in the shop, I'm buying it. Obviously. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We only went to two shops and they both had greed. I realize I have a lot of money, but still. Well, the good thing is, I guess we will get more keys. Hit, hurt me more, Greed. Hurt me more. Oh, we got a golden key. That's awesome. Alright, so with Greed now dying... Thank God we got that steam sale earlier. He's gonna drop a ton of money. Oh, the keys. The keys are beautiful. Finally! And of course, we would get how many? This is gonna be like 10 keys and a golden key. Oh, <laughs> even more. Uh, on our last fucking floor... Of the game! Because that, or the last floor of this early part anyway. Because that's the only way that this makes sense, I guess. We're gonna go back and open up all these golden chests. Finally, Guppy's tail might be useful. Two of spades, doubles our bombs, doubles our keys, never mind. So now we have 18 keys. Amazing how fast, you know, the tide can turn on that. However, um, we're still fucked. We're screwed. Uh, we don't have the items necessary to make this happen. We might die against Mom, which is pretty embarrassing. It's almost worth a bomb to check those out because we'll probably just get more keys out of it anyway. Oh, well, I just blew a key on that. But no, I didn't actually because we've got golden keys only. Like, our golden keys are what are doing everything for us here. So, so far so good. Well, not so far so good in general. I mean, this run has been terrible, but... You know, any extra key, I'll take it. Lucky me, uh, up to 58 cents, four key, uh, you know what, whatever, let's get it. You got one cent, and a bomb, the cent didn't even pay out with the key, that sucks. There is health up here, which we're probably gonna need. We're probably gonna die anyway, but, I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Get hanged man here, and we got two more golden chests available, so let's make our way over to where our boss room is gonna be. And if we run into an easy boss first, there's a chance we could beat Mom. And if we beat Mom, then we'll head to the womb. We'll probably die in like, you know, three minutes, four minutes after that. But we'll have a chance at least. Let's blow up this bad boy here. Extra keys and extra health. The health, of course, of the utmost importance right now. Um, but yeah, if we run into two difficult bosses, i.e. like maybe regular uh, conquest or something, followed by... A regular war, maybe even, uh, followed by like blue mom. Things are not going to be good for us. So, what do we get here more keys, more bombs. Well, we 22 keys. I'll take it. So we got Loki. Loki's not a difficult boss. Loki is actually, uh, for the most part, quite an easy boss. It's going to take us forever to do damage to him, sadly, because we are severely underpowered. Bombs are not going to hurt, obviously. We're just going to keep this up. Really? He's going to hang out over that asshole zone? Okay, so I, I just hate the, the spike trap here that we have to watch out for. I think we're going to be alright. I mean, we, we should be able to get out of this fight without taking damage. Maximum one heart of damage. If we get tagged by one of these bomb flies by accident. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's our damage. That's half a heart. I still got half a heart left to go. How am I going to make that work? Well, we'll just continue you know, doing what we've done here. Please, Bombfly, feel free to hit that spike. And Loki will die. There we go, we get the Magic 8-Ball. Comically bad series of items here. And we got Red Mom, which could be okay. And we did it. managed to do at least a little bit of damage there with the Bob's Rotten Head. And Red Mom is actually, I think, the easiest version because it doesn't create uh, enemies. All you have to watch out for is the occasional shots coming from the uh, you know, various other structures here, like Mom's eye. But I think we're going to come out of this okay. We're going to get the Polaroid as well. Which, of course, is like pretty terrible when you're playing a character that has a lot of red hearts and no spirit hearts because it means the, the Polaroid is never going to have a functional use beyond just getting you to the, uh, the chest. But I don't really think we should be focusing on our worries of getting to the chest, considering it is probably going to be, uh, you know, a long shot to begin with, considering what, we, what we're working with right now. We kind of look like a, like a drugged out hippie from the Summer of Love. And I'm not saying all hippies from the Summer of Love were drugged out, but I'm saying look at Maggie's teeth right now. 
which makes me think that she was not just using the, you know, the happy grass. We have, we've managed to succeed against the mom fight. Pick up dinner. Honey, can you get dog food tonight? I don't know, I'm too lazy to cook. We're gonna go down to the womb part one. I almost said the basement. I wish. And we're gonna get another glitch. Oh, briefly. Womb XL. Well, if we find our boss room quickly, this could be a blessing in disguise. If we don't find our boss room quickly, we will not find the boss room at all because we will be dead. Wasn't trying to, like, it wasn't supposed to be like a cautionary tale. I'm just saying. Well, we've heard ourselves. Who predicted that? Everybody, all right. Everybody, raise your hands. We're gonna check our way over to the boss room here. I'm thinking the compass has got us pointed in the right direction. Judgment, you have the potential. Nope, we went the wrong way back then. That sucks. Come on, Judgment, hook me up here, buddy. All right. Thanks for the key. When I needed keys, what were you dropping for me? Compasses. All the time. Ladders. And then we get Book of Revelations. Um, pretty much, you know, the exact definition of too little too late. But we gotta take it because it beats the shit out of Bob's rotten head. And we'll just, again, get the fuck out of Peep's way here. Peep, now you get out of my way. That's how this works. You move. Okay, see ya. And it looks like we got a long way to go to get to our boss room here. Which means it looks like we are gonna die. Thank you, Guppy's Tail, for that beautiful uh, upgrade that you've given me there. We're gonna... Well, actually, we can't really afford to bomb our way out of here. I was looking forward to just bombing our way through like 20 rooms. Sadly, we can't do that. We only have four bombs. Well, I can't even come through here. I'm trapped. Wrath got the better of me for once. Let's keep this badness up here. Get out of here. You're really just gonna... Well, alright. You guys are dicks. This is the worst double wrath fight I think I've ever had. A little bit more, he should be dead. Please, come on. Just die. Nobody loves you, wrath. Just erase yourself from the earth, please. Thank you for those double bombs. Oh my god, we're screwed. No chance. I mean, I realize I'm probably contributing to my own failure here with this negative attitude, but still, it's hard to stay positive, man. Despite what the Hold Steady would say, I wish I'd just stuck with that Eve run before and not accidentally, you know, traded all of my hearts in for something that was not even really all that useful in the long run. Well, in the long run, it wasn't useful at all. It was actually incredibly debilitating. But even in the short run, it wasn't doing all that much for me. Okay, I'm just gonna keep this up, back it up a little bit. Should be okay, because the, uh... Doppelganger we're fighting against doesn't have enough range to really hurt me. So cool, we'll just walk him onto the spikes. We've still got three hits left. We've still got three hits left. The Lou Bega story. Oh, how wrong he was. Um, well, I'm just gonna continue uh, standing in the kill box here. Amazingly, still did not take any damage there. Lending some credence to the Northern Lion is the luckiest man on Earth theory. Again, I have no idea how I managed to dodge all of those. But here we are. Wow. Lucky me. And Book of Revelations is almost recharged. Ooh. That's gonna really make a big difference, this one spirit heart. As we decide whether we want to die, you know, by, by hanging, by firing squad, getting hit by uh, all these cysts. Oh, there we go. Can we make it to the boss fight? I mean, we're gonna have to fight something and then mom's heart. So it's not likely to work out all that well for us. Game continues to continue its, um, continuing, continuation of, um, you know, I'm not even gonna progress and repeat that trend. Um, what I was gonna say though is it just keeps giving us hope, you know? Just, just when you think that we're on the, uh, the outside of this run looking in, all of a sudden it's like, hey! Need some help, buddy? Here you go. We're, we're not so bad. I'm trying to have fun, too. It's a game, right? Play a game, have fun. Fuck you, troll engine. I know your tricks. You give me the hope, and then you take it away. When you take it away, it stings more than if there had ever been hope in the first place. If there had never been hope in the first place. Give me hope. Oh, is that epic fetus? No, sorry. It's actually literally poop. It's the poop item. Let's see what we get here. Telepills. Uh, I was hoping that that would teleport me directly to the boss room. 
We're pretty close to that regardless, though. Almost to the point where I could start just jamming some bombs down and, and hoping to, uh, you know, not have chosen the wrong path. In fact, we are going to start jamming some bomb bombs down here. Because this is a clusterfuck. Get out of there. Oh, okay. Final hit here. Would not surprise me if it came on this room. Yeah, there we go. God damn it, that was a frustrating run. But in any case, it feels good to be back. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.